Minecraft, Game of the Year, and perhaps Vinyl Fantasy 2 will be Map of the Year. This is Brian in Episode 6 against 3-2's Map, and we've been playing for a while. I think it's about time we got a record, don't you? Or at least try to. Let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back. I have just slept away the night pretty far into the fortress over here. And before I put on any of these armor, uh, I'm just starting a new recording session, and so I think I will just eat up like that and go ahead. I did kind of take a quick peek in here just to try to add a little bit of light, but there's going to be lots of bad guys in here, and so I just want to see what I'm up against. Oh my goodness, the skeleton must have just like fallen out of the ceiling over here. And I just knocked out one of my torches. And so basically with my kind of no armor, I just want to do a quick run in here and see what we're up against. Oh crap, I'm not sprinting, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, but that is okay, because I'm right next to there, and now I have all kinds of better stuff. So I guess I got a decent look in there. Let's go ahead and grab some new stuff like this. Uh, I don't really need the bow and arrow equipped right now, but I think I will go ahead and put on... There's a lot of fire protection, which makes me a little bit worried that we're going to encounter blazes or something. Uh, but let's just go ahead and try to run back in here, pick up my stuff, and kill some more bad guys. And actually, how about I will, while I have my sprint on, try to do some of that. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Did you see all the creepers? I did not regain any of my items yet, but I'm about to die. And I did not take any food along with me, which was not smart. Someone! Hurry up and explode! Ugh, there we go. Oh no, it just exploded into my... <laughs> Alright, this could be not good. That was not the smartest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, but I think I'm going to be okay, provided that I run back over here. All right, we only have one guy going after me right now. There are a couple of skeletons. Great, and now they're going to fight each other. So you guys go fight each other. I will grab a bunch of bricks, and I will go make this room safe again. Oops. Do 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 do. And I know I still have items over there that I need to get, but one thing at a time. All right, great. Uh, let me put on some armor and get my stuff re-equipped here. And then we will go fetch the items from my death a couple times ago. And I think I might have just gotten another uh, bow from a skeleton, which would be crazy. Okay, and I still do have some torches. And, uh, yeah, all right. This time, let's... Oops, crap. I still don't have food, but I still have all my food bars since I just died. So let's just run over here. Oh, it's an Enderman spawner. That is... Uh, oops, crap. He might have just exploded all of my items. Oh gosh, there are so... Oh, and there's the blazes. Yep, I just lost all those items. Okay, that's a bummer. Um, I'm going to grab this stuff. Okay, we need to uh, regroup and rethink over here. Um, this is going to be a challenge. <laughs> all right, and the armor durability is already starting to go down a bit. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually make a cut here and think about things, and I'll be right back. All right, I think I just desperately need to get some more light into that room and not go over to the side that had the blazes. And so I think that's what I'm going to try to do next, is basically just get some more light in here. So we have some Enderman. Oops, crap. Still have skeletons spawning, or possibly that already spawned. I can just kind of stand around the corner over here and do that. All right, and so let's try going this way. I see there's a bunch of skeletons and things over here. Let's just do that. Got a little bit more light. I will back up and reheal a little bit. And go ahead and hit any of the guys who are about to try to walk through the door here. Crap, 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 crap. Darn it. All right, I have more bricks. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and fill in this floor a little bit. There must be more spawners that I have not yet found. It's previously been the case that there's been spawners kind of under the floor in the doorway. I don't see any spawners right here. Um, there's an enderman that I don't want to look at yet. So let's try to get like, oh yeah, there must be spawners like up here and they're falling out of the ceiling kind of thing. And I hear some fires. 
And I am just going to sprint past these guys. I see a blaze over there, and I really don't want to deal with the blaze right now. Um, yes, this is going to be difficult. All right, let's kill some guys the easy way down here. Yeah, I may make a cut because I think I'm going to make some slow progress over here before I make any kind of good, faster progress. So I will see you guys as I see you. Okay, so I've been doing a lot of slow and steady wins the race, like run in, place one torch, run back out. Uh, and that's been working pretty well so far, but now I'm getting a little bit further into the room to where the blazes are. Oh, crap. And so I need to worry a bit more about them. Need to also make sure I'm keeping my food up. I should really eat some better food, probably. Let's try to get one... Well, let's try to do a run of kind of torches on the ground, and then try to get like a torch up here, and up here, and over here. Great. Oh, here's a blaze rod. I don't know that I'll be able to really do anything with that yet, but that's kind of happy. But yeah, basically I do that, and then I kind of run back here, and then I kill off any enemies who happen to come right up to the doorway over here. Yeah, and so the worst thing I'm worried about right now, actually, is uh, having my swords run out. Because they are probably going to run out at some point. I do have a little bit more cobble, though, so I can make some more swords. I have some sticks over here. Uh, yep, and so I'm just continuing to kind of do slow and steady, and so I will see you guys as I make more progress. Alright, once more into the breach. Uh, this room is in pretty good shape right now. There are not a ton of enemies in the room. And there's not a ton of places left for them to spawn. Blazes, of course, spawn at a very high light level, and so the blazes I'm going to have to continue to worry about. But yeah, I've been able to do a bit of stuff like that. Alright, so I think this is going to continue to be uninteresting as I continue to make slow progress, so I'll make another cut. Item repair! Do -do -do -do. I did also already get an ender pearl and a couple of blaze rods. So that's good. Okay, I've gotten far enough to kind of take a peek through the next entrance, and there's a door out the left over here that leads into a room with a red carpet. And so that is where we are going next, and I am going to try to just kind of outrun this blaze and plug that up behind me. And I am on fire, but that will go out. And yes, this seems to be the tunnel back from that previous area that I think I saw when we were exploring above ground in the previous episode. And so I think this is going to go over into the final room, maybe. That looks like it might be a birdcage. And yes, there are Endermen in here. How about this? Right now, he seems to be the only threat. I'm just going to go ahead and get him out of the way. There's gold on the floor. Great. And it seems like there's enough light in here for everything else. There are paintings that I will look behind. Just in case there happens to be anything. Doesn't look like there's going to be. All right. And I guess this is our birdcage, so let's take a look. Hopefully it's not a trap. Hopefully this is the real thing. I think based on the whole layout of the thing. Uh, yep, sure enough. Cat! All right, we have gotten our first de disc, our first record. Um, gold cannot mine itself. There's another chest over here with an iron pick. That is also useful loot, and in fact, why not? I will take the chest as well. And there's a ton of wool in here, and I could actually use the wool for more beds, possibly. I imagine, yeah, there's just bedrock under here. And, oh, I could use the iron pick to mine the gold. Ha 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 ha. And to mine the diamonds that I found in the eye of the cat sculpture that was above this place. Um, and so I'm pretty sure I can make it back out of here safely. And so I think I will probably do all of that. Uh, yes. Yes, the iron pick should be able to mine up all of this. So I am going to... Is there any danger I won't live through this to get back out? I don't think so. I think it's pretty safe, other than the room I just came through, uh, to get back. And so I have a lot of confidence, and so I am going to bust out the iron pick. I'm going to mine up a bunch of gold in here, and I will see you guys on the way out. Uh, I'm an idiot. I've just been mining up all this golden ore, and then I realized, oh, there are gold blocks over here, and these are much more efficient to mine. <laughs> Oops. All right, this is great, because with all this metal, even if I just, you know, use it for, like, making gold armor and gold picks and gold, 
you know, whatever, that's like still, still some things that could be useful to me. And so I'm going to take all these gold blocks, and I'm going to be careful of the blazes that are out here, but try to make it back to my little safe bedroom over there. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can do this. There is a blaze. He might set me on fire, but that's okay. A little fire never hurt anyone. It's a lot of fire. Okay, great. And so, I have escaped with lots of gold ore, lots of blocks of gold, some paintings, and, of course, the music disc. And so, I have a bunch of other inventory I kind of need to transport back, and so I'm going to try to bring this safely back to the previous space, and so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, and I have made it safely back to this space with all of this good stuff. And so I'm going to take a moment to get organized, and then I think we will take a look at that crazy rail line that I found in the previous episode that seems to go under here. Maybe it leads to the Victory Monument, maybe? The Jukebox Monument? I'm not sure. Um, but first of all, let me organize some inventory. Okay, I forgot about the diamonds up in this cat's eye, and so I am going to bring this inventory. I'm not bringing any of my, ar any of my armor. I'm worried that it's a trap and that something will like explode and kill me or something like that. But I am bringing the iron pick, and I'm going to try to go up there and see if possibly we can get those diamonds. And I think I have good inventory for it, and I have the bed so that I can turn it back to daytime because at some point the sun's going to go down. So I will see you guys up there, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so I just slept in the bed. It's a fresh day, and we are going to climb up on top of the cat and see if it is possible to rescue the diamonds without them falling into the lava and without setting off who knows what kind of crazy trap. And so, let's get back up on top of here. And so remember in a previous episode I came to look at the cat's eyes or whatever kind of crazy demon thing this is. Where are they? Hello, eyes. There they are. Okay, and they have diamonds. All right, and so I guess first of all, let's test. Everything else has been stone. This continues to be stone. I need to eat in case something does b bad does happen. But let's go ahead and plug up that lava and plug up that lava. And then if I mine it back out, cool. That seems to have made all that lava go away. I don't hear any traps going off. I do still hear more lava, although I might be hearing it over in the other eyeball over there. Oh, crap, crap! <laughs> Kaboom! Um, yep, it was a trap. I imagine that it is now unlikely that any of the diamonds will remain, but you never know. And so I might as well go take a look at the shattered remains of this cat's head and see what we got. It would have been cool if you left some spawners in here, so all of a sudden this was dark and like horrible things were going to happen. But it doesn't seem like that was the case. I am going to get some free cobblestone, which I'm pleased about. That's better than nothing. I guess I could have tried to be in a position where I'd at least pick up one diamond from that by kind of grabbing it. Oh, look! 3-2, three, 3-2, two, three, two. you are so clever. It's another iron pick. That is a kindness I will take. Awesome. And I bet you we plan that so it explodes up all the diamonds and just perfectly opens up that little area. So good job, 3-2. I like your map. It is fun. I will consider this area now done. I'll go ahead and leave this bed up here since I slept in it, just in case something happens to me on the way back. I'll respawn up here and possibly get my items back. But I will meet you guys back at the base, and then we'll go check out that rail line. All right, I still have minimal inventory, but we are going to go take a peek at the rail line that I believe was... Hmm. don't remember exactly where it was. Was it down or up or left or right? I should have tried to... Pay more attention or mark it better, I think. I think it was actually this way. And a little bit higher than this thing that was coming. Oops, crap, crap, crap. Uh, do I see something over here, maybe? Can't really tell. No. Hmm. Where was it? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fall all the way down. 
And then if I stand back, I think I'll be able to see it. Because it was somewhere along this wall. Yes, I see it over here. Okay, great. So I will meet you guys up there. Okay, here it is. And I am going to... I only brought a couple of blocks. But to make it easier to find, I am going to place some blocks here to make that a little bit easier to see. Yeah, I think I might have updated the water too. Yeah, now the water juts out, and so that'll make it even easier to see. Uh, but yes, remember we found this crazy rail chest thingy does it. Uh, and there's vines all along this wall, and so I can just climb down. And so, yeah, I have minimal inventory, and so if I happen to fall in the lava or do something stupid, uh, I think I'll be okay. But I guess let's go ahead and build a few bricks up to this railway and see what is happening over here and where this is supposed to go. And... Do I have to fill in the whole thing? No, now it looks like it's going to become solid. Alright, I'm going to start walking along this thing, and I will bring you guys back in when we find something somewhere. Alright, I can't yet tell what it is, but there is something coming up ahead. It looks like it might climb back up into the ceiling. Based on the distance I have been walking, I think it's possible that this comes up somehow under the starting island again, maybe, possibly. Not sure. But it is definitely... Looks like it's good stuff as opposed to a trap. And so I have some zombie flesh I can eat. I'll go ahead and sprint the rest of the way. Oh, this is a number one, and that's a number two. And presumably there'll be a number three, and maybe the jukebox monument's going to be over here. I'm not sure. Just kind of guessing. Oh, three, two. This is awesome. Neat. So we have number one. We have number two. We have glass and wool and all kinds of stuff. We have some chests that probably have mine carts. Yep, mine carts and a speed potion to make it easier to get around. And then this, I think I'm going to guess right. Pull lever to relight the vessel of the ancients. Oh, no. Well, maybe. It looks like the jukebox monument from here. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Neat. And it's all half slabs, so we don't have area jukebox monument. Okay. That is awesome. That is super terrific, happy, fun time. And yeah, I don't have any of the records on me right now because I was traveling light. R bleh, traveling light. I wasn't sure if the railway was going to be a trap or any stuff like that. Um, but this is super awesome. I really like 3 2, the fact that, like, after you beat an area, he's kind of nice to you for the most part because he's, he's plenty mean enough in terms of all the spawners and different things we had to do. And then it looks like this is a staircase that goes up to somewhere. And so. Oh, there's another map. Hold on. We have got to read the map. This is the Vessel of the Ancients. You must collect all of the missing records in order to restore communication with the home planet. These documents of our ancestors will be encased in bedrock, obsidian and iron capsules called bird cages. The whereabouts of the capsules are unknown. I already found one. All hope is in your hands. Yes, it is in my hands, and I intend to rescue things. I imagine, yes, that these carts, or sorry, these chests will mirror the other ones. To go to each of the other named areas. Uh, there's a zombie here. Caution. Surface exit closed due to mudslide. Caution. To Shellshock Island. All right. And so I'm going to add a little bit of light over here, since it seems like apparently there were... Yep. <laughs> Bricks where monsters can spawn. And I'm not wearing any armor. So I should be a little careful. And so it might be this way the whole way up. Oh, what does this say? Stairway regenerator project supply. Wow! Some more good supplies. That is happy. I don't really need any of that in my inventory right now. Uh, I guess there's glowstone around here, so this part isn't as not well lit. And so is this, like, can I... It says due to a mudslide, but is there already kind of a stairway up here? It looks like there kind of is... So if I just try to, like, climb up the stairway, is there already a good enough stairway, or do I really need to build a bit of it myself? Looks like this might be good enough already. 
All right, I'm going to walk up here, and I will bring you guys back in as necessary. All right, I am back at the top, but I hear a bunch of monsters and enemies up there, and I think it is nighttime. And so, yeah, I think I'm just going to wait for a little while. Uh, yeah, I can actually see the stars on the horizon, despite the fact that we're, like, under bedrock or whatever. Apparently an Enderman got caught in the ocean up there or something. Um, yeah, I'm going to wait for it to be daytime, and then we'll go up there and take a look. Okay, the moon is setting and the sun is rising. I'm a little worried. I'm not sure if I'm going to be coming back, like, underwater or what's going to happen over here, really. Let me go ahead and move this torch over here. But I guess I will... Ooh, what was that? I thought I saw some weird kind of block. Oh, it might have been the sun that I saw on the horizon over here or something. Yeah, I might have seen the sunlight on the horizon right there. Wow! This goes right up into the... Oh, 3-2, 3-2. You are such a clever guy. Uh, there are some bad guys up here. But I think nothing I can't handle. And so... Let's see if I can get them angry enough at me to come over and say hello. Oh, crap! There apparently is a creeper up there. And he's probably going to fall on my face in just a moment. Is there any way that I can... I'm not sure where the creeper is. Alright, this could get a little bit ugly. But let's figure out exactly where on the island we are. There's a creeper, hello! Alright. I will step out right here. All right, we're just kind of on the side of the island. There just happened to be... I already lost track of the hole. It's right here. I'm going to put a bunch of torches right around it. I can see the gravel on the bottom. Neat! And we're back at Shellshocked Island. And there's a bunch of skeletons in the water uh, who I may or may not try to kill. And I don't know that there's actually kind of like any things over here that I need. And so, yeah, at this point I need to bring a record back to the jukebox monument, and so, yeah, that'll be a good place to end the episode. So let me go grab that, and we'll go do that. Okay, who wants to listen to Cat to celebrate our victory? I do, I do! Hooray! Our first record disc. Let's go ahead and, can I remember where Cat goes? I think it goes over in this corner, maybe? No, this is far, isn't it? No, that's Ward. Where is Cat? Cat's right here, that's right. Ooh, I heard a skeleton somewhere, that's not good. But yes, that is Cat. This is Cat, right? Yes. And so... Whoops! Golden apple went flying over my head. Hooray! One, two, three!
All right, so I hear some skeletons. I suspect they might be down in whatever falls under beneath record number 11 when that opens up, assuming it's the same as the old jukebox monument. And it is also the case that it looks like possibly we have the Joe Hills. Oh, no. Fire and all the colors of wool. All right, that's pretty interesting. I don't know what I want to do with that. And basically, you notice that these stairs were cobblestone, where all the other ones were stone bricks. And so that clued us to go and take a look. And yes, here is the Joe Hills kind of chest uh, with the signs and different things to light it up. And so I think I... Joe, if you don't mind, I'm going to borrow your little tradition here and say that we got Cat over at uh, the Area 1 uh, Giant cat oh it was the giant cat statue and we got cat um yep i will do that put that sign there and to light it up i can put a torch right on the record player okay great so there we go that ends this episode we've got our first disc and we are off and running we've got a little bit better materials i still have some beat up armor as well as a couple of iron picks and some other good stuff to go ahead and tackle area number two next and so next time i'm going to try to bring a whole bunch of inventory i guess over towards area number two and we'll go ahead and check it out so i hope you guys are having a great day and i'll see you again soon